you know you won't I don't wanna talk, stop hitting my phone You know you like me, fuck That ain't what you me When do you think I'm stupid? Said it wasn't your intention Miss when I caught you slipping Now it's me that you kissing Begging for some love, some love
What's your name? Jackie. Jackie, what happened today? All right, I want you to go ahead and stand up, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes, but keep your head still. Do you understand? Do you have any questions? This way, all right? Let's go over here.
Three, two, one, ventilate. It's charging. Analyzing clear. now. Clear. Stand Mission. clear. Okay, go ahead and press shock button. Shock. All right, back to compressions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Push to shock. Once we get inside, you have an opportunity to talk to your attorney. You understand what she just did? I understand. What's gonna happen? We'll talk about that once we get inside. I'm 
Ya sé. No sé. Grandmother of uh, Ryan? Yes. Is he uh, 10 uh, Chafee High School? Yes. Okay, well, I, uh, can we just come in and sit down for just a moment? Sure. Thank Thanks. you very much. Yeah. a drunk driver um, and uh, he was while he was on the sidewalk he was struck by the vehicle unfortunately uh, by the time we got to the hospital hospital he, he was pronounced dead um, I'm so sorry for your loss um, and we're here for you for anything you need I, I want to see my boy I swear she did Heavenly Father there's no way we can wrap our heads around what just happened I pray right now for your comfort. May the Spirit just come as a comforter and wrap up Grandma and every other friend and relative and the kids at school. Lord, spread out your, your healing and your presence. And we're going to put this in your hands and leave it there and ask you to make sense of it all. And we pray it all in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you again for letting us in your home. So sorry for your loss. Thank you. Okay, let us know if you need anything. We're here for you. Good afternoon, Council. I'll call the matter of Jacqueline Ornelas. If you please state your appearance for the record. Tamara Ross for petitioner. Julie Neal on behalf of, on behalf of Jacqueline Ornelas. At this time, I'll let Council make their arguments. 
Defense counsel, do you want to be heard? Your Honor, we'd like to first state that Jacqueline is absolutely devastated by the events and the lives that were taken in this matter. We recognize that these are two young lives that will never be part of our community again. We would ask that the court consider, instead of sending her to adult court, where she would be 47 before she could even be considered for parole, and her earliest parole hearing would be 42 years old. Sending a 17-year-old to adult court where she would not be eligible to parole until she's 47 is the absolute worst thing that could happen to this young lady. We would ask that the court consider keeping her here in juvenile court. Thank you. Thank you, counsel. Do the people wish to be heard? Yes, thank you. Your Honor, we ask that you follow the probation officer's recommendation and send this minor to adult court to be treated as an adult. And I just want to remind the court that the minor, at the time of this incident, was already on probation for a DUI that resulted in a car crash. She still decided to drink, smoke, and drive. Adult court would be more uh, commensurate and more appropriate for what she did for her behavior. She took two lives, and in adult court, for each of those victims, she could get a sentence of 15 years up to life in adult um, prison. That would be a total of 30 years up to life. So we ask that the court send her, according to the probation recommendation, to adult court. Thank you, counsel. This has been <clears throat> an extremely difficult decision for this court. The court cannot ignore the fact that when this incident occurred, you had a high blood alcohol level, that you were involved in a uh, very dangerous and reckless uh, activity of filming this on social media, and the fact that two individuals died because of what happened. And so the court, in weighing <clears throat> the different factors in this matter, believes that a transfer to adult criminal court is the appropriate decision. I will set this matter uh, in Department S5 for arraignment in adult court, and I will set bail in the amount of $1 million. And Jacqueline, I hope you understand that this is a difficult decision. But I feel that because of your conduct in this case and the fact that you knew how dangerous it was to drink and drive, that this is an appropriate decision of this court. I'll ask that time to have the bailiff remove the youth from the courtroom at this time. Put your back, hands behind your back. been a West Coast Multimedia Production.